friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india in this video i am going to show how to put and how to remove a releasable suture the releasable sutures are used in trabeculectomies and it can be used to repair a cut wound of the conjunctiva see this is the radial cut in an SICS surgery on the right end of the peritomy and this is how you apply a releasable switch take bites on both sides and now pull the thread and now take Macpherson's in your right hand and a straight suture tang in your left hand once you have done that hold the thread with the straight suture tying and make three loops one two three three loops on the Macpherson's forceps and pull the thread in this way and this is your eligible suture can you believe it it is so simple and cut the long thread with the needle close to the knot keep the other thread longer cut it close to the knot and this one you trim it but keep it longer and now when the patient has come for follow-up patient is sitting on slit length take a straight suture tying forceps clean the forceps very nicely with bovidone iodine and you just hold this end of the suture and just pull it out so this is a how you remove a releasable suture see it again how to apply needle holder and a plain forceps, tooth forceps is actually not required to hold the conjunctiva. Plain forceps is okay. Plain forceps doesn't cause a laceration of the conjunctiva, but tooth forceps may cause. And now pull the thread, take Macpherson's in your right hand the straight suture tang is there in your left hand now hold the thread and take three loops in trabeculectomies we may sometimes take four loops but for conjunctiva three loops is enough this is third loop hold and pull and the releasable suture is placed and see how nicely the conjunctiva is opposed to the limbus we can remove this releasable suture on fourth post-op day or even after one week this doesn't give any irritation because this is not on the cornea cornea is more sensitive and this will the patient can easily tolerate the mild irritation that can cause by this releasable suture thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in guiding you to put and remove a releasable suture